All right, we're here at Rivals Gaming with Damon Coburn. And what'd you do today? Uh, I got second place at a Mega Ten case tournament. Playing what? Uh, pure Sprite. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, the deck was nice. Um, definitely want to change the side a little bit, but I'll get to that. Okay. So okay. Shout outs first. Uh, yeah. So I want to shout out uh, Javier for convincing me to go back to Sprite. Um, I was playing the the PTSD deck, but. Yeah, that deck's really hard to play. Um, played it for a little bit, but I kept losing the floods, like rivalry and stuff, and I was just really comfortable with Sprite, so I wanted to go back and, and you know, just play this. I felt like I I felt more in control when it, when it came to dealing with, like, the monkey decks. Yep. So, and my locals has a lot of those, so. Yep. Yep. Um, oh, also, and shout out Peter, because okay. he beat me in the finals, but that's, that's the boy. Um, yep. Yeah, shout out Rivals for the case tournaments they continue to hold, and uh, Matt Orta for organizing all this. So. All right. All right. Yeah. So, um, three Nimble Beaver, this is a normal summon. Um, you know, you could play D.Va in the Hulk line, because, you know, it makes up for some weird scenarios where, like, you have a hand trap, you need a normal with, like, a Ronin to go full combo and stuff like that. Um, but honestly, I, I just like that you can add back the Beaver off of your Toad when you tribute it, and then, you know, you have this for next turn, and this is a one card, you know, everything. So, yep. I like the Beaver. Um, and then play three swap and Ronin. Uh, I was playing dupe actually for a minute because like my logic is like if they're gonna super poly you, um, I'd almost rather them super poly toad and dupe uh, over the like red and the elf because then you can just bring back the toad anyway. So um, I, don't, I don't think it necessarily matters unless you're like in a situation where you know you only have toad dupe elf and it's I wouldn't summon it. But, uh, ended up cutting it for something else. Uh, three blue. Three Jet, Red, Carrot, uh, Pixies. This card is like, I think pretty standard at this point. Um, it just helps you out stuff that you wouldn't otherwise normally be able to. And also like a lot of the decks like to go battle phase to force the elf. Um, and when they do that, you can just, you can like when they attempt to leave, you can either uh, grab blue with elf to summon it. And then you search out Pixies, um, or it's really good if you have starter set and then they try to attack something and then you just start out blue, search this, then they can't kill your guy. Um, it, it forces them to play really weird. So I really like Pixies, especially dealing with like the towers type monsters, it's nice. Um, three starter, smashers. Um, two smashers I was playing for a little bit. Uh, mine is kind of like falling off because everyone's kind of prepared for it, so I think one is fine. Um, there is a lot of times like you want to see this card in your opening hand, so I could see an argument for playing two again in this deck. It's just something I have to test. Uh, and then the other package I played was two Light Stage and Lily Bell. Uh, Lily Bell was like stuck in my hand towards the end of the case tournament a couple times, but like in the earlier rounds, like this card is crazy. I was forcing like Vadis when I played against Exo. Um, you can force like Branded in Red, uh, force Zodiac, things like that. So this card is like really, really strong. Um, it, it just makes them have to answer. And then even when you play against Flunder, like they have to um, activate the Dreamy Town like before you commit and stuff. So it's pretty nice. Lily Belt's also just a free extender. I mean, why not play it in this deck? Uh, this deck's kind of missing those. And then uh, we played three pots. Uh, this card is just superior <laughs> compared to like anything else you can play in this spot. I mean, it it fixes your hands. It gets you a hand trap after you combo. Um, helps you dig for like the post side cards. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't play anything less than three. No. Uh, and then we played a ton of hand traps, played three nib and three imperm. These are like the best ones. Um, this this is one you can see by yourself and it like pretty much always does something against like other decks besides Sprite. Um, this is good because Sprite doesn't usually summon carrot. Um, they're always summoning red. Uh, Crow. Uh, I, I like this over Bell because like they can chain block Bell like if they mill like Soliac plus um, you know a tear and stuff like that. And, and, and Crow is just not once per turn either, so like drawing multiples is really good. Uh, three Ash. Um, won't lie, I kind of hate Ash right now. I don't feel like it does enough, um, but there's like nothing out of the ones that I'm playing. There's like nothing else better to play than it so it's like if I'm gonna play another hand trap it might as well be this it's just I, drawing multiples of this card sucks um, and, and unless you're like in a winning position 
um, and have this card. It's the only way you like solidify a game, but most of the times it's not enough alone. And then uh, effect Valor. Uh, I'd rather use Valor in Permon Kit than this because you know then obviously they still have the effect to like swap out. So definitely think the effect negations are better. But yeah, that's the main deck. It's uh, 41 cards. Um, really, really liked it. Enjoyed it. Uh, we'll do extra first. Um, okay, so it's a little, a little spicy. All right, so we played three elf. Um, I, I think you have to play three. Like th this deck grinds so much, and this is like the heart and soul of the deck. Like if you get cherries, it hurts so much because this is just this is the deck. Um, then I played dark, uh, stealing like you can steal Merly out of grave. You can steal opposing sprite blues, sprite jets. Um, so yeah, this is this is crazy. Uh, and then I played area, stealing toads really nice. Uh, stealing a Ronin toad so your opponent can't use it later on is nice. Um, I mean, even if you play against like Sword Soul, you can do some weird stuff like Steel Moe. Just like, it's nice to like use to link up and stuff. Uh, and I'll show you what I link up into. Uh, so I played IP. Um, if you like open uh, where you, where like a discard, the swap, you can generally, um, you know, put enough materials to do like Elf, IP, Toad. Um, so most of the time, people don't see it coming, but I summon Topologic Zero Poros. Um, so what's crazy about this is when you play against like the back row decks, like you usually just like have the Toad elf this. After um, after using Toad or um, during their turn, sometimes like against Monkey, I'll just make like IP plus elf. You activate the elf to summon something and then chain IP, you make top logic, and then you just banish like all five of their sets. So going to, when they go second, it's just so funny. And then this guy comes back. I mean, he's a kill button too. You can just often link into him, and like they desires or something. It's just game or Gizmac, anything like that. Like this card, this card's nice. Really, really enjoyed it. It, it gets rid of a lot more than Unicorn does. So that's all for the links. Uh, I played Double Gigantic, uh, Toad, or even Mario. This is like one of my favorite cards. Um, so not only can you do the banishing thing. Uh, if if you are cherries or if you have like your uh, your toad gets uh, you know GD crowed or Ronin or whatever, you can actually crash this into something to recycle your banished cards. And most people don't know about that effect, but yeah, it's really nice. Um, and then I played Cash Shark, so I kept missing a kill button, and um, sometimes like I had to starter, and you know you can't make like an access code or like something big. So like just having the Cash Shark there is really nice because you can you can overlay elf with something to make gigantic and then you can make cash shark double it to 64 and uh you can just have your blue search of pixies and it's just game like literally just attack something game um and i played sky cav downer and zeus for the zeus package uh, i didn't play how because i wanted to fit all these like really good cards fair enough um, and then for the side, only going first card, I played with three Sanctum and Scythe. Uh, this is an FTK with the sprite board, like literally, you just, just win. Um, and there was Flunder here today, so like, there is an argument for like playing other cards, like maybe Summon Limit to deal with like those type of decks too, um, or Solemn Judgment. Uh, but yeah, that's probably what I'd play over these maybe, consider it. Uh, best, best side deck card, this format, Gamma. I mean, it's pretty staple that this is like one of the best going second cards nowadays. Uh, it, it, it's just a really solemn strike. Um, and then, you know, it's a little different here at my locals. Uh, I know Dark Blue's kind of fallen off, but for Sprite, I want to play this. And I play too evenly to deal with like Sword Soul, things that set a lot of floodgates, stuff like that. And then uh, Reboot. Uh, I actually started this in going first quite a bit for evenly. Like everyone's on evenly here, so like if you get dark rulered and evenly, like it's so hard to come back. So like I mean setting this is nice because then they waste their battle. Also you have to hit like super factorial, uh, eradicator, things like that. Or deck dev. Uh, then we play pink for the mirror pretty much or back row decks. And then one cosmic just because I needed a 15th spot. Now I will say, in a more like regional type setting, I would probably like cut these for like three shifter and um, gamma burst just so I can kill tear. Because literally my only losses today, I lost one game in, or one match in Swiss to Thunder and then I lost the finals of uh, top cut to tear. Um, I just feel like Sprite has such a tough time um, 
dealing with tier, like the more combo oriented versions, they just play through so much. Um, it's really hard to decide what to negate to because they have so much gas and just keep going. And then, you know, they have super poly and, and all these things that just make it super hard for you to, to even be able to build a board. So, but yeah, that's the uh, deck. All right. Well, congratulations. Full case of Mega Tins. Yes, sir. That's going to be fun. Hope you pull prosperity. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to crack them open and hopefully get multiples. Fair enough. Clumpy. <laughs> yep. All right. Thank you. All right. Peace.